In this episode, I'm sharing how my worlds collided, how my daily drive to the gym to work out led me to meet one of the most amazingly talented as well as passionate individuals out there, a converted non-believer, a man who found his purpose and has inspired so many to stand up and take notice. He was what I would call a rebel without a cause, who found his cause through the love of dogs. That rebel is Jeff Songson. You never know where you might find me in the amazing world of dogs, and animals. So be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. Every day on my way to the gym, I would go down a road called Ronald Reagan Boulevard in Longwood, Florida. And on this drive, I would pass two very significant locations. One being the Sanford Orlando Kennel Club. With over 75 years of championship greyhound racing, I have had some amazing memories, not only watching live greyhound racing, but also simulcast greyhound, thoroughbred, and harness racing from all over the country. Their Kentucky Derby event is a local fave, where you get all gussied up and wear your derby hat and have tons of fun. A bit further into my drive, there is one section filled with the most amazing artwork, murals and portraits painted onto fence panels as a memorial to celebrities and local heroes who have passed away. I was often amazed at how quickly these panels would go up after the news of the unfortunate passing of a celebrity. I could just imagine the artist working feverishly overnight to complete the mural for our community to pay homage to. Back in 2018, I can remember hearing on the news all about Amendment 13, which was to place a ban on Florida dog racing. I would listen to the animal activist hoopla, but never once on honestly thought that the amendment would pass. Surely people would see through all those hidden messages, right? Then I started to see Greyhound Racing artwork murals. Clearly the artist was like me and understood that Greyhounds are bred to actually race and they were doing what they're supposed to be doing. They aren't being mistreated or abused. It would actually be inhumane to force an animal to not do what it is instinctually bred to do. Herding dogs herd, companion dogs attach to their people and be companions, sporting dogs hunt, and racing dogs race. Greyhounds are born athletes. And as a person that is knee deep in canine sports, watching a dog flourish as it does when it is doing what it's actually bred to do is a moment to behold. All of this inspired me to actually search out the artist who not only made me stop and take pause every morning on the way to the gym, but also because he appeared to be a kindred spirit in understanding the importance of allowing a dog to do what it is bred to do. So, I decided to meet with Jeff, where it all technically started, behind his parents' house along the Seminole County Trail. And guess what? His story is amazing. A person that actually believed the dogs were being abused. But he was quickly shown the truth and became one of the biggest and loudest members of the community trying to educate everyone to vote no on Amendment 13. It all started about seven years ago when Jeff started this project known as Paint the Trail on the Seminole Wakaiva Trail. He was in the construction industry as a carpenter and during the housing bust found himself without work. It was, I was in a frustrating sort of time. Right. There wasn't hardly any work out there and I'm beating myself up and it was more of a juvenile sort of thing. Right. My parents lived right over here right. on the trail and I stuck up a piece of art thinking I was going to irritate people. I did it right as the sun was going down <laughs> and nobody's around and I screwed one in real quick. Right. And then, and then that was kind of fun. So uh, like a week later, I painted another one and then uh, another one. And, I just, and then like a month, a month later, I did another one thinking this whole time that I'm irritating people because that was my primary motive. Right. And then uh, I think about three or four months went by and I had a lot of it out here. <laughs> and then um, I just bumped into somebody, busted me out here. I came out on a Saturday morning because I had to clear uh, a little area away where I was going to put my next painting. Right. And this guy was like, hey, are you doing that? Actually, he stopped his bike and he was like, are you the one putting this art out here? And I was like, yeah. Like I was ready to like. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. And then he was like, I love it. <laughs> and then I was like, Really? Yeah, so I mean, I really, until then, I really sort of, I thought I was irritating people. Right. And then, and then uh, I good. found very few people in the, over the past seven years that had any problems. No, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's awesome. It yeah. is absolutely, it is awesome. And that, my friends, has turned into almost a half a mile of paintings of iconic pop culture characters, artists and celebrities, as well as quotes and inspirational messages. There are murals and 3D art cutouts to create 
awesomely cool Instagram photo ops, and even a chalkboard where you can leave messages. And of course, that evolved into the memorial portraits, including those of the first responders and service members along Ronald Reagan Boulevard. I think the trail is actually one of those hidden gem, must-see, touristy things to do when in Central Florida. Hmm, <laughs> it's in my backyard. How cool is that? So how did all of this bring us to our joint love of dogs? Well, that's another interesting story. I always thought that in the back of my head that they were abused because I've always heard things here and there. Right, all they, right. You know, they kill the dogs when they when they're done when they can't race no more right. or whatever. You know, come to, then come to find out, I learned things like, oh, you want a greyhound? You want to adopt a greyhound? There's a waiting list up to maybe six months. Wow. Yeah, they don't have enough dogs right. for all the people that want, want them. One. Why would they kill them? You walked in there with no agenda, completely open-minded, going, what am I going to see? Right. Because I'm thinking that these, these bad things are happening, but let's, okay, yeah. prove, prove me wrong. So not only that, uh, in the back of my head, I thought bad stuff was going on. Right. So in a weird kind of way, I, I did have an agenda. You, well, yeah. They invited me in, and I and was like, like, I, don't I will get go you. show people you're right. uh, the crap that goes on here, and I'm going to show everybody. And you saw the exact opposite. Yeah. So well, by the so time I left, I was like, wow. wow. That's not what I expect. After being invited to learn more about the dogs and the sport, he started to document it on his Facebook page and became a steadfast supporter in getting Floridians to vote no on Amendment 13. Uh, so those people are the experts on Greyhound Racing, so I spent a whole year hanging out with them and focusing in as much as I could on how these dogs are treated, what's their everyday sort of, you know, routine and what they eat and, the, you know. Right, right. Um, you know, people that are complaining about these dogs. Hey, does your, does, does your household have a 24-7 uh, vet available at right. any time? So what exactly is Amendment 13? Well, as he so eloquently explained, the verbiage is a bunch of trickery. It was designed to tug on the heartstrings of pet lovers by stating that the humane treatment of animals is a fundamental value of the people of the state of Florida. In reality, Florida Greyhound Racing is highly regulated with the heaviest restrictions, making these dogs one of the most protected dogs in the country. There are over 90 Greyhound adoption groups that were totally against Amendment 13. The organizations behind Amendment 13 aren't even in Florida. The passing of Amendment 13 has opened doors to banning multiple different dog sports. This is because it's so vague in its phrasing. No one cares about these animals more than the people that work with them, day in and day out. So where do we go from here? A lawsuit has been filed against the state challenging the constitutionality of Amendment 13. So be sure to check out overturn13.org to learn more about this fight to right a wrong and support the working animal. I was so inspired by Jeff as well as the trainers, adopters, kennel owners, workers, and fanciers that Billy and I are coming back to put a spotlight on Greyhound Racing and the amazing individuals behind American Racing Greyhounds. As a person that's in the dog world, I thank you for mm. everything that you've done for dogs, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. I mean, because it, it, that doesn't that doesn't just affect greyhounds. That affects all dog sports. So, of course, before I left, I had to leave my mark and thank Jeff for sharing his passion and his art and for being such an amazing advocate for dogs. Our rebel with a new cause. fiasco accusing me of like uh supporting animal abuse and all stuff i don't i don't know one person that's like that's for animal abuse yeah ex yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but i eat a chicken sandwich <laughs> you know what i mean uh, i eat a hamburger right oh, i yeah. like steak yeah. and all that stuff yeah, yeah. i'm a human um, you know we've been eating meat for millions of years right. that's very true you know? we're hunter gatherers yeah if i had to kill my own chicken i don't know if i'd be able yeah. to eat it yeah. i might be a vegan <laughs> <laughs>